<clears throat> All right, yesterday, if you remember, we learned from over oh. about Rabbi Yishmael and Rabbi Tzaduk. Remember what they said? Don't misuse the Torah. Don't use the Torah in order to make yourself a big shot or whatever. Now we're going to learn it from Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi said, anyone who gives honor to the Torah, his body gets receives honor from the people. Anyone who disgraces the Torah, and the it doesn't mean, even mean from the people, it means from the creations of God. Anyone who, <clears throat> who defaces the Torah, who devaluates the Torah, his body is devaluated by people. So we see that one of the reasons it says that the temple was destroyed was because the people did not honor the Torah properly. He says one of the meanings is that we, you spend a lot of time in the Torah trying to learn and discern as much as possible. The different letters that says the one minute, one minute, oh. <clears throat> the letters that are missing, the letters that are extra in the Torah, and you show a reason for every single letter and etc. That's one thing, dealing with understanding the Torah. Another meaning is giving honor to the Sefer Torah. When a Sefer Torah is taken out of the ark, you stand up. And also to honor those people who learn the Torah and those people who work in it. All this is honoring the Torah. And dishonoring the Torah brings the opposite. Let's <clears throat> go to the next. Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Yishmael is a different Rabbi Yishmael. This is a Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yossi. He says, Ha chosech atzmo minadin. A person who, here, Ha chosech atzmo minadin. A person that tries to avoid any sort of litigation. Porak mimeno eva, he therefore is able to push away from himself hatred, guzzle, thievery, vishvua shava, and making false oaths. We'll see what this means, but generally what it means is if you have a litigation with somebody, it's better to give up and to give in than to make an agreement outside of court than to go to court. Because it'll, it could be that the person, if he, the other guy is lying, so sometimes in order to prove that he's right, people don't mind so much to lose money. What they can't stand is when the other guy wins their money. So sometimes it'll force a person to make false oaths and the person will hate you, etc. I got now advice for a, a judge. Hagas libu bahara. A judge that becomes, how do you say, haughty when he decides cases, right? He knows that he has the power of life and death, and so he can become a monster. <clears throat> a, per, a judge, true a judge has to demand honor from the litigants and from everyone in the court, but he can also take it too far. So a judge that is gas libo means he becomes egotistical when he decides laws, he's shot he's a fool, Russia, he is an evil person, a gas ruach, and he is a thick spirited person. Let's see what this means. Bar Arvadi Bartanura. First law, a chosechatsmo minadin. The makom sheesh gadol mimenu. Here's this is advice to a judge. That a judge, if there's a greater judge than me, I should let him litigate. Or Omer Lapali Adin, Shit Pashu. Or a better one is a, every judge, this is advice to the judge. A judge should try to convince the litigants that they should make some sort of a concession between them. Right? May come to some sort of a common agreement. Don't go into litigation. If you succeed in doing this, then you remove hatred. People that go out of the, uh, a person that comes out of the, this is advice to the judge. The litigant that comes out of the court that he lost the case, he's going to hate the judge. He'll say, 
Belibo lo afach lezuchuti. He'll say in his heart, this judge, for some reason or other, he hated me, right? He hated me. But for whatever reason it is, he, as soon as I came in the door, he didn't like me. It was, it was not impartial. It was partial. Also thievery. Shem yechai zakai, because maybe a judge, this is all advice to the judge. Judges try to avoid litigation. If possible, let the people make some sort of an agreement between them. Because why? Maybe you will find the wrong person guilty. And it'll end up that you'll take away his money, not according to the law. And also a shvuot shava. And also it'll take false oath. Maybe you will you will uh, obligate someone that's not obligated to take a oath. So it'll come out that you're bringing people to make false oaths. Right? Swear that you didn't take the money. Swear. Now, when oath usually was in the name of God, you would take the name of God. So taking the name of God is very bad. It's a third of the, of the I mean, it's, it's I'm sorry. It's, that's right, the third of the Ten Commandments. You're not allowed to take God's name in vain. Or <clears throat> the, it's talking about here uh, a false oath. He calls it a shava. He means an oath for no reason. But maybe we'll take a false oath. People, in order, like I said before, not to lose money, they'll swear to anything. They'll go crazy. Kagon Sha'omer, Loliviti, Palava. For instance, a person comes in and he says, I didn't loan money to this person. I didn't loan him. All right. They come into court and Ruven says, I <clears throat> says I loan loan money to Shimon. Shimon came and borrowed ten thousand dollars from me. Now he doesn't want to pay back. And Shimon says, I did not borrow any money. I swear to God I didn't. Oh, that's pretty bad. On the other hand, Shimon figures this is pretty easy. All I have to do is just say these three words, swear to God, everybody believes me. And I wouldn't make ten thousand dollars. That's pretty good. So it says, Don't do it. Shibasha Shavua. When the when he makes the oath, the words come out of his mouth for nothing. He's making a false oath, very, very severely bad thing to do. And also a gas libo bohara means that he's thick spirited. What does he mean thick spirited? The judge does not look properly into the case and he, he just shoots off the law as though he wants to impress everybody what he knows and how he knows. And it could be that he's wrong. That's called gas libo. He becomes too haughty and when he's making his judgments too quick to judge, he says it's a very, very bad thing. Therefore, what's the solution? Try, if possible, to make some sort of an agreement between the people. The litigants, have a good day with Mashiach. Now, God will only see you at 8.15 tomorrow morning with Mashiach now.